This is Insider Medicine in 60 from Maryland. The FDA has approved a Avastin for the treatment of breast cancer. The drug had previously been approved for patients with colon and lung cancer. Recent data has demonstrated a doubling in progression-free survival when Avastin is used in conjunction with chemotherapy in patients who have not received prior chemotherapy for metastatic HER2 negative breast cancer. From Hamilton, patients with a blood clot in their leg or lung are at significant risk of recurrence within three years of the initial event. In a study of over 1,600 patients with either deep venous thrombosis or pulmonary embolism, nearly 5% developed a second blood clot located in the lung, and 20% had another in the leg over a three-year time frame. In addition, nearly 10% developed significant bleeding to the point where a transfusion was necessary. And finally, from Boston, a new study has evaluated over 200 residents with advanced dementia residing in 21 nursing homes, where the average patient received four courses of antibiotics. Patients were seven times more likely to receive antibiotics in their last two weeks of life than any other period of time. Some questions whether such frequent use of antibiotics is the preferred practice in such patients as it may not increase quality of life and may raise the risk of antibiotic resistance. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.